Should we do this? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> George on the drive. And the foul. Gideon George. Seven points now for Gideon. Throws it down. Turned over. Here comes George and some showtime. Working baseline. Fade away. If there is something that he needs to overcome to get to where he wants to go, he's going to figure it out. He's going to work through it and he's going to keep building. It didn't just come like that. You had to, he had to work for it. Like he had to do a lot of stuff to actually get where he is. So that fire will not, will not go off because it's been like, a, now it's like a lifestyle. Last year was not an easy transition year for him. There were a lot of hard things for him as he's a, you know, an international student that had only been in the States for a couple years, coming to a major university in a huge population for the first time and dealing with all the attention and the fanfare and learning a new system. Sometimes I do question, like, why am I here at BYU? Like, what am I doing here? But at the end of the day, I'll sit down and like reflect and be like, okay, God has a reason for me coming down here to BYU. I don't know the purpose right now, but I'm still trusting God to lead the way. The goal is to fill up that container. I think we can fill it up with uh, 240 boxes. Once that's filled up, we're sending it to Washington, D.C. And from Washington, D.C., Time of Africa would take over um, and then take uh, the boxes to Nina, Nigeria. That's where Gideon is from. And they'll go from school to school, distributing the sneakers and backpacks to students there, so. The only thing I gotta say is, you look at these kids back home in Nigeria, and they get so excited just for a pair of shoes. You know, we're super fortunate here. We, we get shoes, we get clothes, and we just take it for granted. And so something like this that Gideon does for other people is, again, super special and he has a big heart. So that's what everybody knows out here in Cougar Nation is he has a huge heart. He's a good teammate and a good bro. For a college basketball player to do something like this, especially thinking about his home, it's pretty special. Kind of just speaks to who this guy is, man. It's bigger than basketball. It's bigger than basketball. So last year, the Deep Blue talked about his shoe drive. And so what went from being a very just personal kind of face-to-face -face thing became a thing where all of a sudden there's just boxes showing up at the annex with shoes in them. These shoes has made a lot of impacts on school kids and kids playing basketball within MENA community. We had about 100 pairs of shoes. Now, 5,000 pairs of shoes. Wow. wow. I get like random texts on my IG, like random people texting me, be like, hey, Gideon, how's it going? I got like tons of shoes for you. I'll be like, wow. <laughs> and he's the driving force behind it. He's the one pushing it. It's something that's near and dear to his heart that means a lot to him. It was a charity that he benefited from as a youth, and now he's getting to pay it back, and it's something he takes really seriously and cares about. It's been incredible to see the support from BYU, the, the different student organizations that have worked with him and reached out and said, hey, we want to help in this effort. And the, the, the BYU family, the fan base, the coaching staff, everybody that can be involved, that can help, that can help push, that can help promote, has done so to the point where, you know, we're talking five, 6,000 pairs of shoes now will be headed to Nigeria. And it's, it's impossible to overstate the importance of what that means to that community where these shoes are going and what this can mean. So for the BYU community to get behind this and really grab onto this, this passion that Gideon has and help him has been absolutely incredible. I want to use this time to like pour my heart, my heart out there for like people that have donated, like even those ones I can't even like get to reach, you know, people donating without me being aware. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it because you guys are changing the world and like you guys are giving like meaning to those kids back home and like they're really grateful. Like I'm gonna speak on behalf of them kids back home. They are really grateful, like seeing the joy on their faces, like 
like when they talk about changing the world, you guys are really, really changing the world. So thank you very much for that. Gideon and his, his brother Samson don't need pushing to be incredible people. And so, you know, Samson has had these blessings since he's been in, in America uh, that then he wants to extend back to his family. And Gideon, the same thing, he wants to extend uh, the things that he has in any way he can back to his family. And so Samson and Gideon uh, looked at it and said, okay, here's the financial position that we've been fortunate to be in as a basketball player now. We can help our parents buy their first house. It's like, you wouldn't call it a thing of pride. It's just a thing of joy that actually they never actually thought about that that was going to happen in their lifetime. I feel like we just relieved my dad from so many stuff, you know. He's really, really happy. And I'm happy for that, seeing my parents happy. I'm glad we can do something like that for my parents. And I say it's a blessing for the family, for sure. We hope he finishes the degree with flying colors. And we wish him all the best in his basketball career. Gideon, we have missed you so much. We wish you all the best in your career. We thank all the donors. We thank BYU. Thank you from out for Africa. <laughs>